Weather expected to have most of an impact on the roads this afternoon and tonight. Now we're learning what's being done to try and keep drivers safe as they head home from work later in the day today. Brittany Schaefer joining us live with those details. Brittany. Well, Patrick, we are at the Woonsocket Department of Public Works, where over a dozen trucks just left to pre-treat city roads here. The temperatures in the northern part of the state are now hitting that freezing temperature, especially here in Woonsocket. And you can see that the salt pile is ready to go as crews just loaded up to stop icy roads. Now, the morning commute started off rainy and mild, but temperatures have continued to drop since then. In Massachusetts, Governor Charlie Baker advised all non-emergency state employees to stay home today. The state has more than 600 pieces of equipment out on treating the roads. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation is urging people to avoid unnecessary travel. State police say they have responded to 12 accidents since midnight in the state of Rhode Island. In Woonsocket, DPW Director Steve D'Agostino tells me today's conditions present a challenging task, trying to treat roads while the rain washes away sand and salt. He says while it's costly, it would be too Dangerous to not treat roads. It would be a complete sheet of ice with all this moisture and snow melting and temperatures ready to drop to 19 degrees tonight, or um, it would be a hazardous situation. And uh, it's very expensive. Um, salt is probably the most expensive component of uh, snow removal and probably dissipate in about three or four hours. Have to do it again. And Agostino, again, crews have already headed out here in Woonsocket, and he says that they expect crews to continue treating the roads through midnight. Meanwhile, AAA tells me that they have seen an increase in calls today, with the number one issue being accidents. Coming up new, starting at 12 News at 4, hear from AAA and what they say you should do while driving in these conditions. For now, live in Woonsocket, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. And the weather already being looked at as a potential factor in this fatal crash on 495 in Chelmsford, Massachusetts this morning. State police say one person died following the crash. Happened between a dump truck and another vehicle at about 6.30 this morning. Officials urging the public to stay off the roads later today and tonight as much as they can, not only in that area, but all over southern New England. Weather also impacting travel in the air. At last check, dozens of cancellations at TF Green. Cancellations starting right around 9 o'clock this morning. And remember, you can always check the status of your flight using the flight tracker tool on our website, WPRI.com. Weather also having a major impact on schools. Many choosing to dismiss students early or go virtual today. In New Bedford, all public school after school activities and athletic events scheduled for today will be canceled or rescheduled. All schools being dismissed at the regular time except for Hayden McFadden Elementary, Gomes Elementary, Parker Elementary, and Renaissance Elementary schools. They'll be closed by 3.30. You can see the latest closings and releases running right now at the bottom of your screen. With this weather having an impact on our day today, now would be a great time to download the Pinpoint Weather 12 app. You can get live interactive radar wherever you are and alerts when conditions change. It's available right now in your phone's app store. And make sure to stay with 12 News for continuing coverage of this severe weather alert. Michelle, much more in a full forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. And meteorologist Tony Petraca will be live starting on 12 News at 4 with the latest forecast and how it could impact the evening commutes.